Howdy, howdy, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so let me rewind here a little bit in the... Uh, from last night, I put up a video um, as well, a silent version. Now there's an audio version. Go to my blog at first overview of new crypto trading bot with five strategies. Um, in there, in the second version here, this one has the audio, um, but that video shows you the new bot, well, new bots and one bot, mega bot, um, that uh, shows you how it works. So what I want to show you is the profiting of this. This metric that I've been using for a couple of years now, this weighted uh, average, which is really just the hourly moves of these guys right here, uh, Big Four, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin against Bitcoin against uh, US dollar, uh, pumps out this weighted average. I want to show you how critical it is to see profit and not profit. Right now it's negative at half a percent. So in here, uh, in my archive, I've created, uh, I'll show you that, that video I highlighted here. I have um, the archive directory here. And you can do this with your own bot once you get it, uh, the service for it. But um, here, I've created a Python script. What it will do is it will take the, um, the um, either strategies that I'm running, I'll show you those in a minute. But this one is the critical one, is the weighted average uh, JSON file that the bot works with and generates every 20 minutes. Um, and then I'm able to show you um, the Excel version of that. So I'll show you that now. Um, and what I want to show you here, it's really important to understand. So this has been running um, for eight hours with the exception over eight hours where the bot crashed, you know, we're part of the debugging process, but in here, uh, what you'll notice here is the bot stopped running at um, some point in around here, but it's every 20 minutes it's running, or part of it was running, I should say, but it's able to record the performance of the hourly moves for Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, but here's the important metric right here. So when you track it along here through the night, what you'll notice is, is it stays positive up until roughly, up until about here, okay? Up until about 9.49 a.m., okay? So when I look at this strategy in particular, this is the one I showed uh, in yesterday's, or last night's video, p &L Futures Momentum, and um, this one showed to have some profit, quite a bit of profit, actually, up into a point. So, I don't know. Okay, so this is the total profit. It's a huge loss, okay? So, that's over um, how many positions? 700 positions. So, this is what I'm saying about the parameters in this bot can really make a big difference. But... If you go up until about mm, maybe 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock-ish, when that um, started going negative, the what you'll find here in the PNL of all these positions for this particular um, strategy, things start to go <clears throat> negative and you start getting more and more money losing positions. So if I get up to, let's say, okay, 3 o'clock, right, right about here. Um, uh, you can see it here. When this started, I should say stop working. So we are dealing with, so it worked up until about 4 or 5 a.m. A bug hit, <clears throat> and it stopped working, stopped recording this. So you can see it up until about here okay so if i was to show you between the time that this was recording the profit you'll see here that the um it stopped around 5 a.m my time but when you look at the overall pnl of all the positions that were taken you can see here it started at the beginning of f1 to row uh 263 which is in around here somewhere 
when it stopped working, but you can see here it's quite profitable at $12 uh, for that particular strategy. And then if you look at um, the weighted average at around that time, if I have it, let's see here. So you can see here the weighted average was still fairly positive up, up, up until um, this is the, this is the really the really important part. Um, so we have up until about 4 a.m. So here you can see that the um, weighted average right here stayed positive all that time. And then what started happening is it started to go um, get a little stronger, 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 stronger. So this is the weighted average at 1.8 which is pretty strong. And all of a sudden, it started to go negative at um, 640. So not negative, but it started to really weaken um, from 1.8 to 0.38. So that is your warning to get out of all positions. Everything should either get out. And that warning, that's a, a strong warning to you when the weighted average starts to decline. As you can see here, it started to climb up, starting at 1.9, and then boom, for some whatever reason between the hours of 7.40 and 8.06 this morning, um, the market just went negative or started going negative. So that's a really strong indicator to get out of the market, uh, to get all your positions out. So for this particular strategy, so what I'm trying to tell you is you can correlate the weighted average time on when to get out over the rough. So we're looking at roughly uh, about <clears throat> 7, 7.40 a.m. You can see that right here. Um, and you can see that that is when it started to really get weaker in the market. So as part of the conditions in, in building these bots, what you can do here, well, I can only go up to here, but if I still had data to record, um, the time to get out of that trade and to get maximum profit would have been at seven, you know, around seven thirty in the morning. But still, up until this time, the weight average was quite strong, and I'm able to accumulate all this profit. So, what I'm trying to say here is that this is a very good metric to use on the overall crypto space and to trade. Now, I'm right now tracking all of the strategies which are making money and which ones aren't um there's this one it's not doing too good um this one's doing really good uh which i just showed you and this one is not doing well at all so the only ones that are trading right now <clears throat> are the tether market futures uh that made quite a bit on that run up up until 7 30 this morning this this is the one I'm talking about. The futures momentum, the cross one, the EMA cross you'd think would make money. Uh, it's not quite as good. Uh, this one's just the general spot market. The parameters in that are very loose, so it's there's a lot of losses in there. Um, so let me just show you those results. So this is really good to, to isolate which are the working strategies and which which is not. So this. This one here, the USDT spot market's making good cash. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this one right here. This PNL futures momentum one's doing pretty good up until about 7:30. Now, if I still had it on, it would have uh, started losing money, and I would start losing profit. So I would have been able to lock in the profit and get the optimal profit and get out, which is what I did. So here's the USDT spot. And I can tell you right now, based upon what I'm seeing, uh, you can see right here all these positions. A lot of these positions are just no-name stock, uh, no-name pairs that you never heard of. Like, okay, there's a BCH, then there's a QTUM, Ethereum Classic. But there's other ones here like NKN, NULS, that are just losing and when you look at them it's just nothing but losing 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 so um 
I can test how the, they trade today as after 7.30 because I've seen it do relatively well in a down market. It's not quite a down market. Well, yeah, it is a down market. But uh, let me just get the latest data here. Um, so right now, it is it is it is all negative because Bitcoin was, was positive. But overall, our it's pretty strongly negative right now. But I'll be able to determine... If this particular strategy, the, the USDT spot, has any potential at all, you know, I'm going to keep it in there because people want to see trading opportunity and see signals. So that's fine, but I can't guarantee you there'll be profit. But as I said before in yesterday's video, you will be able to turn off those strategies that you don't want trading. The other strategy I'm kind of still experimenting with uh, that has shown some profit is this one right here, the EMA, which is an EMA cross in the futures data as well. So let's check out that, if there's been any form of profit there. Um, and you can see here, there's some big, big losses here, especially with, <clears throat> with Bitcoin. Um, yeah, Bitcoin's big losses. Of course, it's not real money, but if you, if, if you wanted to trade... Bitcoin in a down market with the weighted average trading negative, this is what's going to happen. I've said this before. You will lose a lot of money. And there's your examples, 147, 180, 98, 86. So those are huge losses. So, again, this is the kind of strategy you may not want to trade when it goes negative. Um, but we'll see how it does when it goes positive. So this is what we're testing for, and I'll be able to... Um, have you in the parameters in the INI configuration file be able to turn on and off strategies but knowing further investigating this everything comes down to the weighted weighted average where certain strategies can do really good and um, you know they, they they may be the ones to use so let me just see here when this started trading so right here you can see that the EMA um, isn't even as good as it should have been in when the markets were moving uh, here and uh, they're just they're not performing as they should have uh, using the EMA but that that tells you you got to tweak <clears throat> those strategies but the money maker so far for sure is this one the uh, this guy right here just the plain futures momentum there's a lot of configuration in there some of these other strategies are just very simple on the exits, and sometimes they may not want to take those charges. So I'll, I'll be tweaking these as I go. Um, and right now, probably for live trading, I'll just keep this one on and watch it trade only when the weighted average is at a certain level. If it goes positive, trade it, or maybe at least quarter percent move, trade it. And keep all the other ones off. That's what I'm looking at right now once we go live with this. But so far, this has been pretty good number uh, so far on the first, call it 12 hours of watching this. Other than that, I just want to show you how critical that weighted average is. Again, this guy right here um, that is critical. And we are able to track that in the service once you get access to the bot. All right, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day, and thanks for watching, and have yourselves a good day. Later.